All right, we are live. Howdy, everyone. Hope you're all doing well today. Today has kind of been an off day for me. Uh, in kind of uh, thinking about like work life and stuff and what I want, and it's definitely been a bit rough lately. If uh, mental health wise, so it might be a little bit more quieter today, but uh, don't worry about it. Um, I think getting into some Wind Waker will be good for me. Um, but aside from that, uh, I should be getting my Game Boy Advance tomorrow. So I can take that apart. So possibly this weekend I might do a stream. A bonus stream where I fix it up and put it in the shell so that way I can gift it to a friend. Um, and I'll be happy to be uh, done with that project because it's just been staring me in the face for weeks. Because I have the shell sitting on my table. And it glows in the dark, so when I go to bed, I still see it. I see it in my dreams. Um, and aside from that, I've been playing more Hollow Knight, um, just on my own time. I have beaten two of the three cups for the Colosseum of Fools. I just got the last uh, mask uh, seal. So now I'm going to be cleaning up around and possibly finishing the game on my own before we finish it on stream. I realized there was a lot of areas that I had not finished and cleaned up with. So I will be backtracking next time. Um, we'll see if we have enough time to finish it. But aside from that, I say we should get back into Wind Waker. Uh, we're pretty far in this too. We have to do another temple, and then we have the Triforce Shards to go look for. So let's get back into that. Okay. Right. Right, 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 right. So, off screen, it literally took me like another five minutes to take the picture that I needed for this uh, quest. So, let's go turn that in. We have a bunch of uh, little things we can do first before we go back into the main story. Um, since last time I streamed, we've gotten more Bayonetta 3 news, including a release date. Uh, so it'll be October this year. And they gave us a brand new trailer, a bit more story to uh, take in and speculate about before the game comes out. And it looks fantastic. And the VAs totally tricked us by thinking, oh yeah, we're going to have a new voice actor for Bayonetta. And the original one had to play up on Twitter thinking, it's weird that they didn't hire me back to play this Bayonetta. And she's totally in playing a different Bayonetta, because we see a future Bayonetta, which I think is the Bayonetta from 1 and 2. My guess is that the third one that we're playing as in this game is Cereza, grown up now. Anyway, howdy. So by this sad life, if you want to do the production, no, 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 rest. Yes, yes, yes. Here, how about this? That should be good, right? Oh, -ho. Oh, ho, now this is a finely snap pictograph indeed. Oh, wait, I think I gave him like a Russian accent. They say love is blind, but what could he be thinking mailing all these letters? I should not ridicule him, though, for he reminds me of myself back in the innocence of my youth. Memories of those bittersweet summer days come rushing back to me, unrequited love. Ah. But now I'm a married man, and I am miserable. But I digress. Very good, young sir. I must congratulate you on passing these first tests. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it more efficiently. Let's turn that up. It's a little low. Cool. Uh, now what? Very well. Next is my second command. You must search for this town's most timid and cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirit as soon as I lend him some backbone. This individual flees and jumps at even the slightest of surprises. I need you to capture the instinct of fear in this individual's face in the pictograph. So tell me, do you think you complete this task such, young sir? Yeah, it's the guy in the milk bar, right? I can do this easy. Easily. So I think what that means is that 
uh, we're gonna have to play Payonetta 2 sooner than later. Considering uh, that is, we now have like a hard time limit of like when the new game comes out. Perhaps we can finish another game soon and start on that next. Because my next summer game that I want to do is Mario Sunshine. Um, on time. Yeah, kind of. Sure. How you doing, man? I just literally started. You didn't miss anything. I just turned in the first picture for this quest. So now I'm, uh, now I'm doing this. That's not a good angle. Sir, I need you to give me a, your best angle. Give me your best scared face. That might be good. Let's take one more just, just for good measure. similar angle. How are you doing, Duchi? Chat latency isn't horrible today? That's great! I'm glad! Both me and Maggie returned unharmed. Sounds as though they went through quite an ordeal, but they're safe now. Good, I hope it stays that way. Hopefully your internet's acting better today. Oh, damn it, that was a good one, I think. I need him looking at me. How has your day been? I was mentioning at the start of mine, at the start of the stream, that uh, it's been kind of off for me, just a bit quiet. Uh, so mental health is not super great today, but I'm happy to be streaming. Link, get off the table. Who do you think you are? Okay. Ah, crap. Alright. Two. Two whole pictures. Let's see if any of these will do. We gotta turn these in. Oh, I said, I hope you're doing well. I was mentioning that um, today's been kind of off for me, so I hope you are doing better than I am today. Nothing too bad, just kind of a slow, uh, low mental health day today. Just not really feeling great. But I think streaming is a good way to take my mind off things. All right, here, get a load of this. Oh, oh this is a finally a pictograph indeed. Clearly, this individual must be the town's most timid of denizens. Here is his constant companion. I cannot complain, young sir. You have passed in the most admirable manner. Say, is it me or is this chap quite the striking individual? Very good, sir. And this means you have passed my second test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Hey, Grace Ungraceful. Thanks for the raid. How are you doing today? Welcome to Wind Waker. Very good. Next at long last is my final command. Open your heart and it will be all right. And mind and listen to what I have to say. So more in this town is a couple and a man whose women whose hearts are secretly filled with thoughts. And yet the two have never spoken. Even when they happen by chance to pass each other on the road, they steal a brief, furtive glance at the other, but they suppress their longing in their hearts. I cannot let this tragedy go on any longer. For the sake of the town of my own desire to help these two poor souls, I should become Pupid, Archer of Love. I don't know, you kind of sound like a warrior, old man. Uh, These two are timid burglars in the House of Love, and you must capture a pictograph of them thinking their furtive thoughts. In young, master. If and when hope beyond hope, you manage to complete the start task, you shall become my number one pupil. I'm your only pupil, sir. I don't know what you mean by number one. Do you already hate me? Does that not excite you? Good luck. Well, we're doing some side quests today in Wind Waker. Always a good time. Before we go to uh, the Earth Temple with Plant Medley. Alright, so... We're essentially waiting for this dude to walk all the way over here, so that way these guys can exchange a bomb. Fortunately, shit kids here are going to be in the way. So... How far do you guys follow me? Let's 
since they just like catch sight of me, then they just rush toward me. No, go away, children. No, I already know. I this isn't a first playthrough for me. In fact, I should probably get rid of that. Uh... Okay, no, I don't have that tag on. No, I I played this game before. I I know what's going on here. Uh, I just have to play a waiting game now until uh, this dude with the weird hair uh, walks all the way around the island. Yeah, this guy. He's gonna take a sweet ass time. No, sorry. I do know this game pretty well. So I appreciate it. Alright, is this tall enough that you fuckers would get out of my line of sight? I can't tell if, like, it's supposed to be this blurry or not. <laughs> Where the kids go? Well, they pissed off. I guess it's just supposed to be that blurry. Well, get out of the fucking frame, you little shit kids. Don't you know I am a professional photographer? Where the hell is that guy? Sir, could you walk faster? Oh my god, he's barely up the steps. Ugh. Alright, so other things we have to do, we should try to get some of the quiver upgrades for the bow. Yeah! You can call it whatever you want. It's still a little weird. I'm not a fan of it. There he is. No, plant! Get out of the way! Alright, that one probably sucked, but let's try it. Otherwise, we gotta wait like another five minutes. Hopefully he's not too picky. I did get them looking at each other. Damn it. How's this one? Hey! We got it! First try! Oh, -ho, this is a finely snap pictograph indeed. I had no idea these two would get along so splendidly. You can see the love there, hidden but thriving. They're like, yeah, we saw you. Pay for the picture. Even I, who have lived in this town for so many years, did not realize in the slightest the extent of their passion. You have done well, Marka. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. I probably just hit enough of the parameters that the game was like, alright, we'll take it. Because, uh, one of the dudes was like half out of frame. Now then, young sir, I have you have completed all the tasks I set for you. My doubts of you have all been cleared up. I am now your assistant. This is an unpaid internship. You will be paid in, uh, exposure. Yes, exposure dollars. Uh, I shall give you, like, a crumb of bread every day for your troubles. Maybe some lint. To reward you for, the, for your fine efforts, I offer you this. The elderly lady next door tells me of its value, so it's... A single joy pendant. Are you fucking kidding me? From here onward, come Reno in my heart shall rest in comfortable leads at the same time your heart will learn the love those big dog very fosters. <laughs> oh. Anyway, from here. Alright, can I... How do I activate the, uh, the quest to get the box upgraded now? Because I have the, the butterfly that I need. Just in case. I don't want to accidentally, like, release this butterfly and then have to do it again. You always type XX. That's fine. 
Lol is always my go-to. So you can just keck. Allow me of your tree. Do you perchance know about the pictographs with color? I have researched this concept for many years, and at long last, I understand it. Stronger light is needed to imbue color to the pictograph. No normal light will do. In fact, no normal light must be overcome. Color pictography requires the light of a very bright intensity. Now, I have heard tales of a mystical creature in this place called Forest Haven. It is said to be the tiniest of creatures, one that unleashes an otherworldly light. As an eld to me in my research, could you possibly use an empty bottle and capture one of those creatures of legend? Yeah. Here, what do you think about this? Is that why I feared the sacred light had been extinguished forever? Is that truly one of the long fabled forest fireflies? Oh, glory! An existent for ages. It has been said that the forest fireflies possess a mystical power. You don't remember how it is you think your sister did? That's alright. I remember that I had to complete these side quests first and then I just go talk to him. I just didn't want to accidentally release it, so I'd save the game just in case. We are I shall place this one inside your picto box. Oh, that's all I had to do? Just shove the damn thing in there? I could have done that myself. Yeah, deluxe picto box. Oh, now those pictographs of yours have forever lacked the scintillating palette of light. Should henceforth show the world as it meant to be in living color. I bet that's quite an easy thing to do after all. I literally just said that. I could have done this myself. Why did I need your help for this? Well, such is life. Now go out there and snap the cross. Snap them in color for me for all the years I ain't spent unable to do so. Go! I hate this old man. But hey, I freed up a bottle. Alright, um... If there's anything else for me to do here on the island now. We got the heart piece from the auction house. Uh, hmm. Maybe we're right inside for whenever you get bored and decide to stream. Hit me with it. What's your idea? Understand. Yeah, hit me with it. What'd you have in mind? Don't worry. I I don't. I specifically don't have a thing that says I take requests, so I'm down to just hear you out. What did you have in mind? Uh, let's see. Let's get some bait out. Altos OD. I've never heard of that. What kind of game is it? Altos Odyssey. I've never heard of Altos Odyssey. Give me the genre. Give me a lowdown. Give me a synopsis. What's it about? If it's fun, I'd be willing to give it a shot at some point. I can add it to my list. My list is my my schedule is like bound to change at some point. Like I originally was planning to play Bayonetta 2 a bit later uh, in the year, but because Bayonetta 3 is coming out this year in like a couple of months, uh, I might have to move my schedule up to put Bayonetta 2 in there. Infinite Runner game, sandboard. Huh. Interesting. Oh, right, small crack. Yeah, yeah.
Beware the night when the crescent moon faces up. That's all I can tell you. What? Okay, bye. You'd have to Google it. Why, does it run like in a browser or is it like on specific uh, websites? Oh shit, another game. Can't describe it well. Well, I have the name now, so I can use that as reference. I will jot that down after the stream and put it in my phone. But yeah. Uh, Bayonetta 2 will have to come a bit sooner. I'm excited about that, uh, about number three. Just from the trailer. I'm also happy that we are still doing uh, Devil May Cry 1 references in Bayonetta. Ah. Uh, Never mind my mistake. Yeah, step right up. If you have confidence in your target shooting, why don't you give this a shot? It's 50 rupees per game. You bet. Now then. <laughs> so you're the little shrimp who thinks he's a target shooting hotshot, eh? Oh, you say you know full well that we are pirates who are threatening to cry babies and shut our mouths when we step into the room? Huh, this should be funny. Well then, hotshot. If you can manage to sink the five pirate ships you see up in the horizon, we will acknowledge your skills with a cannon, you shrimpy little landlubber. However, we won't tolerate any comments about how the pirate ship looks or barrels. Uh, you only get ten shots, you heard me. You still have to add to the game unless you have a capture card for your phone or you can turn your Wi-Fi off. Ah! That would be difficult. Um, I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can, like, run with Adblocker or... or find some way to, like, set permissions on the... on the browser, then, if there's ads. Let's see. We can move Canada, then. We can have reply. You got that, tramp! I got it. She got five parachutes. She'll give you the treasure. We're stoning up now. Good luck. Yeah, let's see how far this one shoots. 39 degrees. Way too far. It's a mobile game, but it's actually good. Oh, boy. Wow, that's really close. Copy. All right, well, I don't think we're going to be getting all of these in the first go. I can barely see the other ones because of the fog. Um... Oh! We might be good, never mind. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, hold up. Let's see if this one is 45 degrees. Alright, we got two shots if we hit this one. Perfect. Please hit. Literally can't tell if I'm too far. Oh, hey, we did it! Wow, nice shot, eh? But we won't handle our precious treasure so easily, huh? Miss, hey, miss! Oh, hey, Tetra. Tetra, what are you doing here? I thought I left you down in Hyrule. Also, when did you grow a mustache? That's really weird. Gonzo, you're at least an honorary member of my family, are you not? So act like it. Don't lose your head. You're a talented little kid. I like you. As we promised, here's our treasure. It's yours, so take it. Fuck yeah. First try. That was easier than the fucking Battleship game. Alright, nice job and all that. You can leave. Uh, get out. Alright, bye. Hell yeah. Why is it, like, thunderstorming here already? We got reverse from how it goes. I know at least one of the ones that were far away was that 45 degree angle. 
Fortunately, those two in the back were both at 45, and I just had to get the last one out. I was very lucky, though. Park is a two rather than Tetra. Oh, really? Maybe it's because I got it first try. Where's the fish? This is supposed to be Mother and Child Isle. Oh, there he is. You are the ship at the start of the game. Oh, in the ship at the start of the game. Well, I think it's because this is just a mini game. Or maybe it's different in the HD version. I don't know. Oh, it's Malfred. What do we got? Alright, they say that inside the ring of rock that makes the perimeter of the island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. That is a child. But the thing is, nobody's ever met her. Puzzle, the only way you'll ever meet her is to stick around in a world and drop inside the rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, Fry. All right, we've already done that. We've met her, and she gave us the fire and ice arrows. Let's head this way. Because that looks like Fairy Island. Yeah, the next games that are on uh, the catalog to play are Mario Sunshine... Bayonetta 2, apparently. And I don't know. Maybe either DMC4 or... Uh, Bioshock 2. We got a whole slew of games we need to play. But as we start creeping closer to October, uh, we gotta start getting the spooky games ready. I'm gonna make a list of games that I'm gonna be playing every week. So, I don't think I'm going to be committing to one game entirely, like I did last year. And that I'll be playing a variety of games. I'm going to go back to Cry of Fear for sure, because that game was a lot of fun. This fish so far away. Well, that was just close enough. All right. No, you just find it around a cow in the ship tutorial after the epic game of Park Four. Pirate Boy gives you the same thing in the mini game. Tetra gives you the item. Oh. I mean, sure. I mean, it would make more sense for Nico, but Tetra's more the face of the pirate, so. I don't think anybody else knows who Nico is. Oh, it's Malfry. Nico is invisible to the world. I heard that the bar people who live on Dragon Roost out there have invented an incredibly useful device they call a grappling hook. Uh-huh. I heard those guys keep joy pendants in their pockets, so if you get a grappling hook, you use it to swipe their pendants. Alright, cool. I will get out. Alright. What do we have here? Oh no! How will I ever solve this problem? I'm trapped! I sure hope I get a quiver upgrade. Because I got all the bombs that I'll ever need. But arrows would be nice.
God, I love these designs for the great fairies. I'm kind of sad they never showed up again. Young Wake of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Ow! Sweet! 60 is already pretty good. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna assume the other fairy is probably. Somewhere around here. Eastern Triangle. So maybe here. Or over here. Wait. Uh, let's swipe some fairies while we're at it. You're coming with me! Ah, uh, yes. Put the fairy in the bottle. It's in a jar. Alright, and then... Another one for safekeeping. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thanks. Alright, bye. And then... This back on. This back on. Wah. I don't remember where the other one is. Alright, let's see if I can remember first try. Oh uh, yeah, we got it! I mean, of course I memorized it. Why wouldn't I? Uh, happening over here. I see that lighthouse. What is happening? What is this? Let's explore a little bit, and then we're going to go to the earth or the wind temple. Oh, that's, um, that's Windfall. Uh. So then what is between Windfall and here? It's like a whole bunch of nothing. There's the fish I need. Come here, fish! I haven't eaten in days. And this fish looks mighty tasty. I whoop. Yes, that's right. Take the bait. We got him. Print aisle, that's adorable. Do you know what a choo choo is, small fry? Yes. Not talking about the sound you make when you kiss someone, I'm talking about choo choos. They're those slimy monster like puddles of goo that turn into blobs of jelly, stand up and start jumping at you like crazy when you come near them. Well, in any case, there's lots of them over there. 
Uh, they get nasty. Now to think about, there's a potion brewer who lives on Windfall. Yes, yes, yes. Why did I jump off? Have I been on this island yet? I don't remember. What do we got here? Besides death. Death and danger. Don't mind if I do. This looks important. At any rate, I mean, we need to collect rupees because we got to translate a bunch of uh, expensive maps from Tingle. Any other choo choos I need to look for? Who else wants some? Get out of here. Ooh, a chest. Hello. Great! I mean, I do need those. I don't remember how many I need. How many do I have? I think I need 20. Alright, well. It's not the worst. Thank you, thank you. We had a way to stop Wi-Fi access in the game, so you want to deal with the ads and can still stream. Cool! I would probably give it a run just on my own phone first, just to see if I like it enough to actually stream it, but I do have other games that I have planned first. But I mean, for future games, if it is like a mobile game that I want to play, maybe that bypass will work. Let me know what you did. I do have an older spare phone that I can use in case I ever wanted to stream uh, something from a phone. But that is a headache that I will leave for another day. So you have to tell me if it's for um, if it's on the Google Play Store or if it's on Amp or Apple. Because I do not have an Apple phone. And I dropped Apple products a long time ago because I hate how uh, proprietary they are about their software and refusing to let other people put things on them. I had an iPhone for the longest time, and then I saw my roommate just not have to go through the headache of downloading songs without needing Wi-Fi access or like connect it to your account if it's not available on iTunes. And I said, oh, well, I'll just do that then. It's on both platforms? Then I may have a way to do that then. Um, I have a Chromebook. Um, that does have access to the... What is this for? What is this here? It has access to the Google Play Store, so I can download apps. Um... I could stream it from my laptop then, and that'd be easier. That could work. Okay. Alright. Perfect. That is a headache I will figure out. Not today, but that is good to know. That is an option. All right. I can see, finally. Uh... 
It's your headache. You'll figure it out. All right, man. Got it. All right. Wind direction changed. Onward! To wherever the hell the other fairy island is. Maybe we should also visit the, uh, the Cave of Trials. That is, uh... Grab these, right? Oh, thank God. That's behind Link's house. Books. That's another heart piece for sure. Now, something that I'm curious about, and I'm happy to speculate on stream, is uh, I wonder how we'll be getting around uh, the floating islands in Breath of the Wild 2 in those uh, Exploring the Past sections. I'm wondering if like we're going to get like some sort of glider. Well, we'll have the regular glider, but like in order to get from one island to another without running out of stamina, I wonder if we're going to have access to like another loft wing. Or maybe we'll ride a windfish. So windfish would be cool. Nice. We're fast. Blech. Oh, good. One chest, not even five seconds, cool. Brad, it's a good day. And I got 20 bucks. Try me, bitch. Oh, okay, we got multiple. Who dares? Take that. Your turn. All right. It improved your own latency. Ah. Uh, ah. Right, well, honestly, that sounds like it makes sense. If you're stopping other processes from going on while you're using the internet. It might improve your your connection. I don't remember what the golden feathers are used for. What is replies? Open. Nice, man. It's a treasure chart. Great. I don't have one of these. Never found one of these before. I'm so happy. I finally got a treasure chart. Yay me.
Thanks for the U-turn. Oh, I remember this island. Damn it. I need a... I need a hoi pair. Fish! Fish! Fish acquired. What do we got here? Oh, there. Correct. You see, seagulls flying around sea. Why does it sound we need to be aware, Fry? Because seagulls flock to wherever there's a big octo. Big octos, I tell you. Things that don't mess around. No, come back. That could have been my lunch. Well, I don't have any hoi pears. So. Let's go grab some. Uh, I was following somebody on uh, Twitter. Uh, the main showrunner from Stop Skeletons from Fighting. Um, which is the name of the channel. And apparently he had met Reggie Filzame recently. The former CEO, uh, president of Nintendo America. And uh, got him to sign his copy, his box copy of Mother 3. And the signature just reads... Thanks for continuing the joke, Reggie. And I can just sense, I can feel just how tired Reggie is of this one joke that uh, everybody keeps bombarding him with because he refuses or has nothing to do with really how the process of bringing uh, Mother 3 to the West. That whole process. But people seem to think that it's, a, it's up to him, that he had that power. like the fishing area or the para paragliding area that mini game let me just grab some money first ah damn it come on there we go I wonder how the game keeps track of all of those chests. Are they like randomly placed? Or are they like always loaded in one area? So if I were to look below the, below the ocean, I would see just a bunch of floating chests. Let's go this way. I see seagulls, but I see no giant octopus. I was lied to.
chunk updates. Oh, we play Minecraft. I like your cut, G. So that's here, Dragon Rose Island, Big Rocks, you get the picture. Anyway, there used to be a hidden treasure inside those things. Oh, there's probably another hidden uh, piece of heart somewhere on Dragon Roost Island that I haven't got yet. Have I done this one yet? I don't know if I've done this one yet. Submarine. What do we get? Oh, this is dark. Uh, hello? Ah! Understood. Where's the next one? Sure, would love to be able to target these guys. Oh my God! There's one. Oh, thank God. The rest of you, fuck off. Uh. You bomb him. I got it eventually. The auto target, though, just at defaulting to the these little fuckers. I let one live? Absolutely not. Where you go? No survivors! Those bastards. Alright, what do we get for our troubles? What is our reward? It's a sea chart. Please, no sea chart. It's kind of still a seed chart, though. Oh. Disgusting. I would have preferred money, at least. God damn it.
What do we got this way? So I have recently learned that the Wind Waker, uh, before it was decided to be a baton, was almost planned to be a fucking theremin. Which kind of makes sense for the reason, for like the way that like Link moves his hands. And the way that you like move a theremin, you have to use both hands to like control the pitch and the other one is the frequency. So like the fact that you're doing this makes sense. But what an odd instrument to go with. I'm kind of happy that they went with the Wind Wake with uh, just a baton instead. It still fits the musical tune. And the musical theme of like having some form of instrument. This conducts instrument, so it's close enough. What do we got here? What is this? Oh, that looks like our last fairy island over there. You guys stay over there. No. No thanks, sir. I don't want any. Not interested. I'm already registered to vote. Bye! Those towers just loaded in out of nowhere. Good job, GameCube. You did the best you could at the time. Everyone should be proud of the GameCube. And what it did. Alright. Final Fairy Island. Need the hookshot for this? No. Oh no, I have to use the hammer three times now. We're never getting in. Missed. What a puzzle! I love this game. Give me more arrow. I'm gonna need it for that fucking Ganon fight. God knows I'm gonna run out of arrows. For sure magic, but I might as well mitigate the arrow problem. Upgrades got. Extra magic, all the bombs, all the arrows. Right, let's go find this little plant. Ignore me, ship. I am just a passerby. Oh, so in the mail today, I got uh, my All Might figure, finally. So now I have all four of My Hero Academia figures from the Revel Tech line. Which is my favorite line of anime figures, because they're super posable. Um... Where am I going? Is it 
this way. And he's a hefty boy. Because it has to be... He has to stand taller than the other ones because he's an adult. Well, the other three characters are kids. But I'm glad they did a reissue of them because... Those go for way too much money online now. It seems a lot of, like, online retailers and manufacturers have kind of caught on to the idea. But the fact that uh, people have been scalping and buying certain products en masse to sell them for a higher price. Nintendo was doing well for that for a bit, but they seem to not care about their N64 controller because it's still out of stock. And I still can't find it under $70. Well, under 80 80s, 80s the lowest I've ever like found it. Somebody selling it online. Here, while we're going for it, let me look up to see what it's actually supposed to cost on um, the Nintendo website. Because apparently that is the only thing compatible with Nintendo 64 online. Hello, mm, phone. Where are you? I have the tab just saved. I check it like every few days to see if it's ever updated. It's never in stock. Alright, yeah, it's supposed to be $49.99 on the Nintendo website. So the fact that people are, like, selling it for, like, almost double the price is fucked up. Like, Nintendo went out and, like, made more of their Amiibos, their Zelda controllers, um, when those were being bought and sold uh, by scalpers. But for some reason, not, not their uh, controllers. These controllers, specifically. And it's annoying. Alright. A song. Oh, don't worry, Duchi. You're in the same boot as everybody else. Like... You are in the same boat as everyone else. I, too, collect amiibos. Like, most of these only have one function, but that's because Nintendo's poorly implemented them. The only in-game advantages I've ever used for them were the, uh, extra costumes in Breath of the Wild. Are you the new hero? I am Fado of the Kokira tribe. I know I appear to you as a child, but the eyes can often deceive. I am a most esteemed sage. Also, it is super cool to see a Kokiri in a game that's not Ocarina of Time. I have been praying here so that the power to repel evil will continue to be contained within the Blade of the Master's sword. But well, I was attacked by the evil Ganondorf, and this is what happened to me. You wish to return the power to your blade, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. Sure. I got nothing better to do. In that case, look for the one who has the same instrument that I hold and teach him the song that you just played. Once you do, I'm certain the holder of the instrument will feel the blood of the sages awaken within his veins. While Wind Waker you hold was used long ago to conduct us sages when we played our song to call upon the gods. In those days, it was always the king who conducted for us. So that means I am your new king now. I am your ruler. 
At least tell the king that I would still play even in the next world. Okay, bye. I'm doing a surfer dude impression, but I'm pretty sure that's also the voice they gave him when the game Grumps played Wind Waker many years ago. That is the impression that I am doing. Wait. Forest Haven. You know who we should get a figure made of? Wait, Beetle! Beetle, come back! Beetle, I need a picture of your beautiful face. I want that to be the first figure that I have made for me with the Picto... with the Picto box. I will hang it on my wall and look at it every morning. Oh. I can't buy that thing! <laughs> it looks so sad. Excellent. Thank you, Beetle. Okay, bye. All right. Now we gotta do this. So I am mimicking somebody doing an impression of somebody else. If that clears things up. God, I can reach this from here. Oh, Makar! Howdy! Alright, I haven't seen you in quite some time. Hey, bye. Surprised you're able to find me here. You're running, right? I'm all the way on here. I'm practicing another song for an extra ceremony, and I need privacy. Get out! This isn't. Any fun enough knows that in advance what song I'll play. You can hear my song outside. Uh, really? I thought the sound of the waves would drown it out. Medley the Earth Sage and Mr. C the Wind Wind Sage. Yeah, you're right. They kind of got it backwards, but don't worry about it. Perhaps I should play a little more softly when I practice. Oh, is that a conductor's baton? Are you a maestro? That's incredible! Can you conduct for me? What kind of song? I can't wait to hear it! Alright, I got a song for you. Uh... Alright. Are you ready? Alright, here we go, Makar. It goes something like this. Yeah, you got it, Makar. Good job. Why does it sound like I already know this song? Oh god. Makar is sans.
I gotta make a Wind Waker's... Cute. I gotta make a Wind Waker baton. Neither. Just to have as a part of, like, memorabilia that I've made for myself. Like, I made a little Makar plush. Should make a little Wind Waker to go with it. This sacred song you conducted has awakened me. I myself now. I am a sage of the Wind Temple. It is my fate to return power to repel evil to your master sword. Answer is the regrets of my ancestors. Oh, please, you must take me with you to the Wind Temple. Will do, little man. Come here, weed boy. Wait, is he in the boat with me? Oh, he's riding on the little head. That's adorable. I didn't even notice that. Oh, weird. It gets rid of the head. Huh. Anyway. And back up here we go. Oh, wee! Makara, I don't think that's a very secure place if we're going to be spinning around like that. It's just going to go flying off. I need this. Whee! Alright. Can I have it be daytime, please? time clip you gotta share those man put those in the chat so i can look at them later share them anybody else who can come in can also see them too yeah thanks bud Take a look at it. I can open it up on my laptop. Good shit. I'm gonna have to save that one and share it later. Thanks for the clip. Sat car. Sans car. The car's true form. Sans car, there you go. Sans Makar. Sure. I was just trying to find what combine the names and it didn't work out. Alright. We finally can get the hook shot. What's the case with Medley? I have no doubt that you and Makar too have some special role to play in these events. Discovering that role is your duty. I am certain that by cooperating, the two of you can overcome the dangers and pitfalls of this temple. Sans made of car. Alright, come with me, you little shit. God! Let him go. Alright. Are you ready now, fucker? Yeah. 
I had to wait for his little ass to waddle over here. I gotta say, I love that uh, both important songs in the game are just both halves of the main theme of Wind Waker. I love whenever they do that. Like with the Ballad of the Goddess being the main theme of uh, Skyward Sword. It's cool. All right, come here, little shit. All right, we're going to put this and this. We'll probably put on something else, too. I'm gonna need the boots. Hmm. Ah. Oh cool, I didn't realize I could mash out of that. It really does. I, I, I miss when Zelda games would do that. Alright. Same rules as last time. Take a shot whenever I have to use the command melody in this dungeon. If you live, you're stronger than I am. First playthrough of this game took several years. I mean, this game isn't super action packed. It's a lot more chill of a game, so the pacing of that does make sense that sometimes it can take longer to play through. But I think that's okay for this game. I'd say if it was like, I don't know, Twilight Princess or. Any other Zelda game, I'd say maybe the pacing of that's a little bit off. But for this game, it kind of makes sense. You beat it at 11. How do I turn this off? I need that fan to be off. Oh, this is hell. Excuse you, sir. Oh, I didn't realize this could happen. Also, again, I didn't beat my first Zelda game until way later. Am I missing something here? How do these fans turn off? So I need those to be off so that way I can, uh... Maybe I don't need them off. I guess it's fine. And then you had your brother delete your save file. Ah, oh, That's always the worst, but... That is the life we live. Fortunately, in the old days, we had to worry about memory blocks. Oh, that's how. Okay. That makes more sense. Come here, Makar. Alright, take another shot. I mean, it is, it is still an issue today, too, but I feel like back in the day, it was kind of more of a normal thing that we all just accepted. 
nowadays it's kind of unacceptable because we have game file sizes that are like gigs. Um, and I feel like more than just saving memory, it's the whole game itself. Yeah, but back in the day, uh, and I think for some consoles too, it was proprietary. So, like, if you wanted more memory for your PSP, you had to buy a really fucking expensive uh, memory stick that was only made by Sony that they could charge whatever they wanted for it because that was the only way to save your games. Versus nowadays, where I want more memory on my Switch, I'll just go buy a micro SD card. And I can use that micro SD card with anything else too. That's different. I can buy a bunch of different memory sizes and I can get it cheaper somewhere else. It doesn't matter. Uh, but for like GameCube games, you had to buy a GameCube memory card and it was limited. They only had specific sizes. So it's not like you could just buy one and be done with it and never have to worry about it again. It'll fill up. It's, it's, a, it's a weird concept that we don't have to deal with anymore. But it is kind of nostalgic at the same time too. I don't think I'd ever want it back. But it's just how it was back then. Here. Go over here, my car. Here, little one. Take another shot. Modded your PSP, PS2, GameCube to have SD support. Well, that's good. And, like, that's possible nowadays. But, like, if I want to play GameCube games on my Wii and save it, I have to buy a GameCube uh, memory card. It doesn't save natively to the Wii. Which you think at this point it should, but... Whatever. Come here, you. So I've recovered from your other shot? Well, too bad. Take another one. I think this one has it worse for having to use the command melody so frequently in order to just progress in the dungeon. Mostly because uh, Makar has to put these up just so you can use the uh, hook shot with them. Promise you can only navigate certain parts at once at certain point. It won't register with any more storage space existing. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Old hardware problems. Exactly. And don't get me started on, um... Handheld memory. Like with Game Boy Advance and... Game Boy Color games. That shit's all saved onto a little C battery. If that battery dies... Oh, bye, my car. Say bye, my car. He's dead. So sad. We'll miss him. Anyway. Yeah, they were saved onto like a little C cell battery. If those died, you could replace it, but all your memory was gone. That's it. That ma that battery dies? Makar, I was in the middle of speaking. Yeah, that battery dies. You're just shit out of luck. Yeah, little C cell battery. It would last a while, but like. They do eventually have to be replaced. 
That is a thing. You can see how that will be a problem. J-Balls, how dare you? Also, welcome. How are you doing, man? And what's even more annoying is that if you want to properly install those, you have to, uh... You need to solder it. Otherwise, it won't be secure and you, you run the risk of, uh... Having it disconnect and then lose all your memory. J Balls knows how powerful he is. Take that, evil hand. I used to rock a green Game Boy Color back in the day. Ooh. I like the green color Game Boy. Uh, the one that I had growing up with was uh, the Atomic Purple translucent one. Which I still have. And that is what I modded to have a backup screen. So that way I could still use it. The only problem now is that it eats batteries more than a uh, regular Game Boy Color would. Because it needs that extra power. Oops. Man, I love micro consoles. They're so cool. Why are handheld consoles so cool? I don't understand my fascination with them. You're a GBA human. No storage problems there. I mean, both use a battery. It's a different storage problem. It's not a storage space problem, as it is more like a longevity storage problem. Like... Game Boy Advance batteries in the cartridge will die eventually, too. No. Not to say that it's going to die now, but eventually it will. And it's that prospect that I don't like. There is. There are ways now, too. But imagine if you're somebody who doesn't know anything about that, and you like, Hey, you know what? I like Pokemon. I want to get into Pokemon again. Let me go get my childhood Pokemon game that I have saved on Ruby and Sapphire. Let me just load it up, and I'll transfer it all the way- Oh, God! My battery's dead! My poor Torchic! Murdered! Literally gone forever. Like, yes, I'm being whiny about a problem that's not even a big deal. But it matters to me, damn it. Reduced to atoms. Yep. Thank you. I appreciate that. I wasn't even intending that to be like a clippable bit. I was just ranting. <laughs> Yeah, now Nintendo wised up when uh, they started making DS cartridges. Because those... They save to the card themselves, 
But I don't think they have battery issues, as far as I know. I've never actually opened up a DS card to check. I've opened up DS, like, consoles, but I've never actually opened up a cartridge. Uh -oh. I'm gonna run out of magic. Good to know I'm on a roll today, then. Oh, God. Oh, we can make it. We can make it! Ah. Oh. Absolutely professional. Who dares? Excuse you, sir. I gotta fucking no scope this fucker. Eat it. I will eventually hit this pea hat. There we go. First try, first shot, never missed. 100% accuracy. Ganon is quaking in his boots. Whatever the hell he wears, moccasins, I don't know. I need magic. Oh, that I'm just such a good shot that Ganon should be scared. That last phase of the Puppet Ganon fight's gonna be easy. No, but if you're using a Samsung phone, you can make a shortcut. So, like, if you were to just type L-O, it would auto you can make it auto-complete to LOL. Or if you were to, like, hold down a set of numbers, you can make a hotkey for that. I used to do that. Is there anything else I need to get from here? Yeah, you can teach it. Fucking smooth. Uh oh. Yeah. -oh. We need a key. Uh, shit. I need my car. Maybe. Take that! Stupid floor master. Does making the spikes, like, pulse like that more deadly? Does it make it more deadly, or is it just for show? I feel like it's just for show. Oh, right, I have to move it. Push the block. I 
which is totally holding four, but whatever. Thank you. Key? It's a key! Thank god that's done. That was annoying. Alright. Hookshot time! I hope we get the hook shot back in Breath of the Wild, too. It would serve absolutely no purpose because you can climb anything with your hands. But I just love the hook shot, and it's such an iconic staple from the Legend of Zelda series. Howdy. Oh, shit. Killing that one for me. Turn to another cluster fuck, isn't it? Sir! Excuse me, I need these. Oh god, he's summoning another dark knight. There you are. This other Dark Nut has not noticed me yet, and that's hilarious. A theme. You know what's even better than this theme? The fucking boss theme of this dungeon. Now that's a banger. I'm just gonna turn this down just a little bit. It's a little loud. There you are. Oh my god! Perish already! You good, man? Here. Alright. We're gonna have a true duel, alright? My sword versus your sword. Are you ready? This is an epic battle already. The tension. Who will win? He won. I mean... The recordings that are saved by Twitch, I upload to YouTube, so technically, yes. I don't record these natively, which I should, but I'm kind of waiting to upgrade my PC first. It would be a lot laggier and a lot slower um, if I was recording this natively. The stream would be, at least, and it would also be kind of reflected in uh, the recording as well. Alright. Hookshot acquired!
So technically Twitch is recording it. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, that'll show up. I'm going to use the hookshot and go find the car. Cheesy on a and it's awesome on this. You have to do it every time, otherwise the hookshot won't work. That's how this works. Oh, it's a float. I love how it just dies out there at the end. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, it's the whole thing. It's the whole two-minute song. It is a power I give to you, so that way we all have to suffer through it. You included. So, enjoy. Make it! Ah, damn it. I did not make it. I shall try again. Oh, God! Link, why? Oh, I'm just walking precariously on these, uh, these little ledges here. Let me just do a front flip roll as I land on it. Surely. That will secure my landing. It is very a lot. And I've turned it down. So it's like a little quiet for me. I don't know why it's still so loud for you guys. Because I've turned down my desktop audio. And I have stream alerts, which is what that comes from. Like, midway. If not lower. Oh, it's sound alerts. I don't know why it's so loud. Maybe it's a punishment for you guys. For choosing to constantly pick it. I don't know. Who knows? No one will know. We'll never know. Truly a mystery. Oh, hey, Makar. I forgot I left you in here. Ooh, look at chest. This is more interesting. See, I did. So, like, when I highlight Spider-Man 2 pizza theme, it is at 18% volume. And I, I've saved that. And it's been updated. So I don't know why it's still so loud. We need more sounds? Alright, I can work on that. I'll find more memes. That I can do. 
Alright, uh... Come here, Makar. Oh! Sorry, I had blocked that out from, like, my memory, and you just brought it back. Thank you. I thought I had left that behind. Truly, good old memes can never die. Where the fuck am I supposed to bring the car? Oh, right to the bottom. Forgot. Bye! Did a little fucking like cartoon boxing glove just like pop out and smack me? Take another shot. Oh, it's this thing. That's what reached out to me. That's so silly. There's so much more up here than I thought there would be. Oh, calm down, Mike. You're fine. Guess I need to go all the way up. Stop! Who is responsible? I will take away privileges. still hear it. Can you guys still hear it? Because I muted it. I need to know if I can take this power away if I need to. Okay, cool. So it does turn it off. I can still hear it, so I have to suffer. So fuck you guys. No, it's back. But good to know. That in case it gets too annoying for anyone else, I can drown it out. Peace was never an option. Get over here. I will disable the thing if it gets used too much, though. There's always the risk of abuse. Alright, uh... Where do I go next? Over here. I would like magic, please. Just do it at random times. I mean, there's other songs, too, I can put on there. I would put the fucking... 
Misery and CPR song mashup on there if somebody uploaded it. But then I'd be worried about getting copyright struck for that. Because I love that meme. It's so awful. Uh, can I pull these off? Guess I'll just leave then. Bye, Makar! That was a little scary. I did, forgot they said, oh. Yeah. Oh, really? Ironically, like Imagine Dragons though, a while ago, but I think memeing on them became so much fun that I kind of just ignored their music. All right, let's get a key. Hey, I guessed and I got it right. Oh yeah. Or is like, eh, maybe I'll let you through. Sure could use some magic. More than that, please. I'm good on arrows. What the fuck? Part of it appealed to my angsty uh, depression that had a good way to vent through their music. It's the same way, like, I loved Green Day growing up. Part nostalgia, part of it is just angsty edge. So, that's my excuse. I can't speak for everybody else. Here's what I'm looking for, I think. Yeah, I un like unironically liked radioactive for a bit. Along with like MCR and rights against and everything else. Listen. We're all angsty teenagers at one point. Shit. No one is safe from that. Don't act like you weren't. Here's where I need to get into. And I don't know how. I'm missing something here. Open! How do I get this shit open? Three days grace. There you go. See? Everyone's guilty of it. Um, apparently one 
down this way that I haven't gone. I got snatched. Oh, for fuck's sake. Spit me out the opposite side. Me so true. <laughs> Absolutely. When Black Parade was like, when I was a young boy, I was like, I was a young boy at some point. He gets me! Tasteful XDs. Oh yeah, for good measure. Oh wait, this one. I need this one. Or you know, the little cat face with the little three mouth. That's a good one too. Back in my day, we used emoticons, not emojis. You kids have it easy with your emo with your emojis that can express every sort of feeling you could ever want. Back then, we had to settle. Ah, shit! I need the car. That's what I was missing. Stop that. Several these. Sure. Uh, I think Link is in danger. Alright, good job, Makar. Ow! What is your deal? Oh my god. They're hungry. You spoiled shits. Here. Take it. See, Ulu's not that bad. There are worse fates than death than just Ulu. I Ulu'd back in the day. I did. My high school girlfriend did. Everyone did. Back then, internet memes were sacred. And you were quirky. And funny for being so weird and knowing this useless internet culture. Stop! Stop! You were triggering me!
These are memories I left behind. They need to stay there. I'm so glad I started. I added the visual chat feature to these videos. Now I look less like I'm going insane. When I react to these things. By the way, these dark notes, if you get close enough, they'll fight each other. They have such wide swings, they'll just smack each other, and it's really fun. Sir, you have a shield. Use it. Uh, one of them landed a hit on me, finally. GG. Some things are better left dead in the past. That part of internet culture and history deserves to stay dead in the past. I think everyone would agree. Metroid is range Legend of Zelda. You're not wrong. But I much prefer the exploration in Metroid than I do Zelda. Like, once I'm done with this temple, I don't ever have to come back here. Oh, there's a side door here. I never noticed that. How do I change this back? Uh, oh, there's the fucking thing. It's the big key. Alright. Can I leave this place now? There's only one room I haven't really checked. God, I wish I could just throw him. It'd be so much easier. Take another shot. Command, Melody. Oh, God. I needed that. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Please, come back. I need the wind. Oh, there we go. What is happening? Oh, God. There we go. I believe this is where I need to go. Yeah. Yeah! Stan Snake with the best theme in the game. Which I have been looking forward to this whole time. I'm in the middle of something, Makar. I think that the hookshot can have probably latch onto the trees I planted. Give it a try. Yeah, can you do that when I'm not in the middle of, like, trying to save your goddamn life right now? Thank 
God, I have infinite arrows basically now. Where to go? Where is he? Oh, kill him! There's two? Before I realized there's more to this game than the outset took about a year, you saw and thought it was a completely different world. This game can be kind of slow to start, and I'll agree with that, which is why I'm so hesitant to do a randomizer for it. Because it can be so slow to start, it can feel like it's taking forever. I love that these little trees have faces. It's adorable. All right, Makar. Weed boy, I summon you. That's me. God damn it. Let's try that again. I did that the hardest way, but we did it. Grab my car. Come on. Get your ass over here. Oh god, now what? Okay, fortunately that works. doesn't reach far enough. Alright. Right? It's like such a natural staple in every Zelda game. Bring it back! Like, it may not be applicable to everything because you can climb any wall anyway, but like... I don't know. There are services you cannot climb. Have a whole dungeon like the flying, um, flying dungeon in Twilight Princess. Have all of those walls be like unclimbable. Motherfucker. Yeah, how'd that work out for you, huh? Or have it be like an ethereal, um, Chica sort of style hook shot. That way we can use it in the new game. And it would still be applicable. It's unlimited length, maybe that's how we reach other islands.
Right? Yeah. Download the Hookshot app from the Sheikah store. You gotta deal with ads, though. You gotta upgrade it so that way you don't you don't get ads with it. Looks like Tingle. Huh. Anyway. I just realized the shape of the map. Yeah, like you could have Link. How do you find the clip that you've made? I mean, you'll have to scroll up. Or. Uh. Uh. Check. You could check my channel page? Because I think clips that are made of the channel appear there if they're published. I think that's the easiest way. If you didn't post it in the chat, yeah, check my channel page. It should be there then. It should be on one of the tabs of like schedule, videos. There should be one of clips. Oh, I just realized the dungeon's at the bottom. Unfortunately, some of the sounds have kind of been ruined for me because, uh, what is it? Um, did I really miss an item down here? In the Minish Cap, they take voice clips from Wind Waker and they overuse them a lot. So anytime Link slashes the sword, it's Wind Waker Link speaking. What am I missing here? Hiya! It says that there's another chest in here. I don't remember how to get it. Could be something important like rupees or bombs or a heart piece or a sea chart or cookies god i want cookies i want homemade cookies i want crispy homemade chocolate chip cookies that sounds delicious oh right i have to break all of these Oh, 
Gotcha. It's a summary of DS1 combat and also a summary of Ocarina of Time's combat. You gotta wait. There's so much damn waiting in this game. Yeah, this is starting to look a little bit like Sense Fortress right now. Uh uh, you didn't activate the trap the right way. Now you gotta do it again. This is a stupid puzzle. You have to fall through all of these to get the other chest. No fanfare for that one? No. What a puzzle! Oh, cool. I'm so glad I get to see you guys and fight these guys. Puzzle solved! I did it! Alright, let's see what it is. The dumb rock boy. From DS1? Or what are you talking about? Oh, it's a C chart. Great. The jokes are already been told. Uh huh. But I, I want the game to tell me how to use it again because I forgot. I've been sailing this whole game and I forgot how to use C charts. They sound like helicopters. Get over here! Here it is. Hopefully I don't need my car for this room. Oh, Havel. Got it. Oh, cool. I wanted more ads to fight these guys. Totally. Oh, this is a nightmare. Where is he? Get him down here. I'll fight him. Should equip my bow first. That would help. I win! This is mine now. Alright, Ganon. Square up. Ah, 
Ow. I don't remember which one of these I have to break. Ow! Okay, so obviously not that one. Oh, there you are. It's this one. Truly, I think Zelda items and accessories peak with the double claw shot. Honestly, name a better game or better item mechanic than that. Being able to Spider-Man around? I love that. There's a chest in here. God damn it. How do I get this chest? Oh! There you are. How did you get outside of your little thing? There goes that. All right. Uh, what am I missing here? Air to the fucking face. All right. Um. Listen, I didn't choose to be a sneaky archer. The sneaky archer life chose me. All right. And I will not be ashamed of who I am. Oh, there's the last one I didn't get. Of course. Wait, that, that wasn't it? There's still more? What do I have to do to unlock this fucking chest? I'm not sneaky, I'm just an archer. Okay. That's another game I gotta play on stream. I've never played Skyrim. That's when I keep forgetting to add. But what console will I play it on? We all know Skyrim's not available on any console. Is it in one of these? I swear to God. I'm losing my mind. What is happening? Did I break something? Did I break this chest? Aonuma, respond! I... There's nothing above me that I can see. I don't see any more torches, or I don't see any torches I can light. Well, that 
still carries me. I... I hit the button already. Ow, Numa, you bastard, what have you done? Alright, I'm just gonna leave the room and come back. And this better be solved. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up to the highest area first. And then we're going to shoot all the fucking... We're going to shoot everything. This is completely unnecessary and totally optional, but... Now I'm just upset that this chest just didn't appear. When it totally should have. Like, for real. What am I missing here? Was it because I killed this guy because I didn't physically fight him? Worth it. Mm-hmm. Hey, in case you guys didn't know how to use a sail chart, there there it was. Look at that strut. I love these goblins. They're so goofy looking. Looks like I'm actually going to need my car now. And it looks like we'll probably finish this dungeon by the end of the stream. Which is perfect timing. model. Thud. There you are, little guy. Off we go. This boy. Oh. I'm trying to think if there's any other like staples that should return to Breath of the Wild. I like how boomerangs were implemented in that there were like multiple kinds of boomerangs that you can get, and that they were actually viable as weapons. Let's see. 
gonna save myself from the pain of having to worry about getting my car later and just drag them all the way over here. The car has committed tax fraud. The IRS is after him. No wonder he is on the run. He thought plants were exempt from doing taxes. The IRS doesn't agree. I think there's anything else around here? No. Alright. Off we go. More giant fans! My favorite. He can't keep getting away with it. Makar, I didn't I don't pay taxes just so you can live on welfare for free. Alright? It's not cool, man. Some of us have to work for a living. Have this one block this one off here. Two stabbies, that's correct. These things actually have names. I don't remember what they're called. But they have names in Zelda 1. Oh shit, really? I have to bring two here? Okay, fine. I... Th I think it is. Because I need one block to be able to block this other one, so... They give you just enough blocks to perfectly be able to... Uh, block all of them. For lack of a better word. Also, fuck you, I do whatever way I want. Who do you think you are? You're not my dad. Right. But I want them to. Well then, I have some questions. Got him. Damn it! My car! He just went sliding away. We did it. Thank fuck. Okay. We are finally at the end of this dungeon. Pipe music, let's get ready. you. Thank you.
No, we got time. So maybe we'll do something else too. Maybe we'll go turn in our picture of Beetle. And get a statue made out of him. Alright, Makar. Here we go! Alright. What could we possibly have to fight? Alright, that beats what I was about to play, but that works too. But that it was on time. It's not even a bird. Cue the best music, let's go. in this. I will actually, like, remove it from the sounds. Ah! I don't- I don't need it being played every stream. Maybe, like, once a stream, but, like, more than two times is excessive. Hitboxes in front of me kept taking priority. Fuck off. No. Please don't. I really am trying to focus. I don't want to keep like trying to mute it. I bet the bitrate is loving this. Why? It hit the tongue! Oh, 
I'm in danger. See, I'm trying to lock on, but these little sandworms uh, keep taking priority. Which is the whole point. They're supposed to distract you. But if I can pre-aim this... Ah! Like, even when I'm in pre-aim and I try locking onto it, it's gonna lock onto a worm that's next to me instead. Like that. I am trying to. But I was thinking of actually letting them live, though. I think that would actually be better. We'll do a pacifist run of Wind Waker. I'd rather let them die of old age, you know? Give them the choice. I think it'd be fun. Groundbreaking, even. Snap! Fuck's sake, finally. Grandma soup? That's some good soup. Sure what I was trying to achieve there. Yeah. Woo. Bird down. And check the next aisle. There's just more soup! What store are you at? I'm at the soup store! You know, it's really unfortunate that that series really only peaked with that one scene. I've tried watching Code Geass abridged a couple of times, and it's just, it's never clicked for me. Okay. Still one of the best songs in the game for a boss battle. It's so good. And the Hyrule Warriors, like, electric guitar rock version of it is even better. It just gets so hype. cringe in the presence of fairies. Really? You don't like the Breath of the Wild ones? I like them. And my ancestors are most satisfied. Anyway, bye, Makar. Stop crying. I shall continue praying to the gods here. Please step into the light and return above ground. Bye, Makar. I'll never see you again. May the winds of fortune be at your back. Please stop.
So I says to the guy, Poker, I barely know her. But the Forsaken Fortress is already... Yeah, like a molten stick that cows off its dead skin. That place is so empty and quiet. One can almost hear the echo of dead leaves falling to the cold cracked ground. Hmm. What? What ails you? Why the long face? The monsters are gone from the world. Doesn't that make you a little happy? Splish. Hey, I'm back. The car's dead. I have troubling news. Gradon has not shot himself above the sea since Falu unleashed his fiery wrath upon him. And what's worse, there is not a creature stirring in this base of operations in this world, the Forsaken Fortress. I cannot imagine how it is possible, and yet I cannot shake this foreboding feeling I have about the Princess Zelda. If only I had the ability to go check on her myself, but I guess I don't. Marco, you must search for all the Triforce stars so we can head back to Hyrule without delay. I'm sorry, run that by me. You want me to go find all the Triforce shards first, so we can go back to Hyrule without delay. We could just go there first, but no. All right. Ugh. Time for everyone's favorite, favorite part of Wind Waker. He can. He showed us before. He rescued us in the middle of the ocean and sailed all the way to Windfall Island. All right, uh... I'm sure it was quiet and peaceful. Where do you see a GBA? No, it's in the shape of Tingle's face. Uh, well, I'm, I'm standing on top of it. Yes, it is. You know, for when I want to play Minish Cop on the go. These cruises get long, man. You gotta do something while you're bored. Like it's playing Golden Sun. Maybe a little bit of Metroid Fusion. Hey, what's up, Tinkle? Oh, Mr. Fairy, it's been so long to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Mm -hmm. That fragrant, musty scent, sir. You found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Why? You can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir! Would you like me to decipher it for you? For 398 rupees. Sorry, what was that? Uh, just, you know, 398 rupees. What? 398 rupees, alright? It's a steep charge, but my services ain't cheap. Sure. So the single tuner, there's like hidden items throughout uh, Wind Waker that you can only get through using the Tingle Tuner. It's a second, essentially like a secondary mini-map. Um, and there's a shop there that you can use to buy uh, bombs and give yourself health. Um, it's useful, but you need um, the Game Boy uh, attachment for your GameCube. I don't know if it works on the Wii. I think it should because it just plugs into the GameCube uh, controller slot. Um, but I don't have that cable. Mr. Fairy, I have marked the location of the trifle shot on your incredible chart, too. When you open this chart by pressing Y and Z chart, you'll see where the treasure shine for. Just go there. All right. Goodbye. Do you not 
Can you not translate any of my other ones? Okay. You bought a new one so you could have the fusion color. Nice. I ended up buying a, uh... Just a used one in pretty good condition from a swap meet. And that's the one that I've stuck with. It's just the regular indigo blue one. Uh, alright. Sorry, what? Okay, so one of the Triforce pieces is by Great Fish Isle. Well, we'll make that the last thing we do then. How about that? Prime should have gotten more Samus versions. I guess you do change as you play. I guess. Like, when I play a Metroid game, I just assume I'm going to be getting a Vario suit and the Gravity suit. Anything else on top of that is honestly bonus. And I'm not going to shake a stick at that. See, this is where having a swift sail would be nice. Because then I wouldn't have to be doing this. Just to be going as fast as I can. I should also grab this. Alright, let's see if we can get this Triforce piece on the first try. I believe in us. We can do it. I don't think I can do that. Because when it's, um, when the sail is gone, you can only cruise. Oh, like that. I see. Thanks for the tech, my dude. right here. First try! I like how the Triforce Shard is just in a regular box. We got a piece of a cool Dorito. So we got one. Now we gotta go get the rest. It's a nice Dorito. Dorito. Potato. Cook and mash and put them in a stew. Um, it says that there is a treasure chart to my bottom left. Right here. So let us go southeast. Let's see if we can find where that is.
Door Ito. That's how I pronounce it, alright? How dare you correct me on my cultural norms? Doraito. The road to El Doraito. Wait, is this the cabana? Is that where I'm going right now? Hold up. It is. Well, I don't have the cabana deed. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I might as well get the information on this area while I'm here. Where's the fish? Why is the fish way over here? Why is he so far away? Fuck it, I'm not doing that. Disney doesn't own Lord of the Rings, I don't think so. Disney can't do shit. Oh wait, this isn't the cabana. We're good. Stonehenge. What do we got? Oh, this looks fun. I can't wait. Uh, huh. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I think I'm gonna save the game here and then call it here. I'm pretty wiped from the dungeon and having to deal with constantly using the fucking command melody. So. I know it's not that hard, but I'm tired. So, I will save it for next time. But I mean, we did some stuff. We finished all the, the pictograph side quest, and we finished the dungeon, and we upgraded the Master Sword. So it's not bad. When we come back, we'll do all the side quests. We'll go to Outset Island. We'll do that battle trial. We'll do this battle trial. We'll find the other Triforce pieces in the ghost ship. And then we'll go show Zelda our cool Doritos that we found. And then we'll save the world at the end. So thank you guys for hanging out, Ducci. Thank you so much for chilling with me and shitposting and memeing. I will see the rest of you guys next week for more Outer Wilds, uh, more Hollow Knight, and more Wind Waker. So you'll have to Spider-Man 2 pizza theme someone else. Until then, you can wait till next week. It's all right. But we'll all be waiting in ba with bated breath for, for more of that. Um, sure. Play us off. Um, I'll finish with, um, if I'm gonna do any bonus streams, it might be this week, this weekend, maybe Saturday. Um, I'll update my Instagram about that. Um, and the bonus stream will be me, uh, putting this Game Boy Advance together. Since I have the motherboard coming in. So that'll be fun to do. I haven't done one of these in a while. So it'll be fun for everybody. So, in the meantime, you guys have a good night, and I'll catch you guys either this weekend or next week. Alright, good night, everyone. Bye, Dixie.